What's up, everybody? You have just tuned in to Real Last on Real Radio 104.1. I'm your host tonight. I'm in the big seat, as well they call it, if you say. Uh, my name is James John. I am the host tonight, like I said. I'm also the host of my own late night talk show on Afro TV. That's right. It's called The Low Down. Shameless plug. Now, I'm in studio, joining virtual studio with a good friend of mine. Just got a new, new job. He is comedian, <laughs> the Godfather of Orlando Comedy. And he's also Billy D. Williams today. Ow. Y'all give it up for my man, Mr. Ken Miller in the house. What's up, Ken? Hey, hey, hey. Love my wife every day. <laughs> there you go, man. <laughs> so she, yeah, yeah, she yeah. I know I talk about all the time. <laughs> you don't be talking about me. Yeah, all the time. All the time. All the time. Every picture, every ta- I, everything. Yep. Uh-huh. Everything. Somebody the other day was like, I didn't know you was married. Yo, you just trying to what? start something. I said, you're just trying to start something. Everybody know I'm married, bro. <laughs> if there is two people in Orlando that are comedians <laughs> and y'all should know are married, it would be it's Ken me. and me. <laughs> <laughs> everybody know I'm married, bro. bro it's, it's hilarious. They lying, man. bro. Everybody know us. They, they know I know you was married. What? What? Come on, man. Nah, Where you have you been? Something. Yeah, you trying to start some ish out here, man. Yeah, Don't do man. that. And uh, speaking of your lovely wife, <clears> Ken, I don't want to take your thunder, but she, she celebrated a milestone, yeah, my friend. Man. And uh, definitely want to give her some love, man. So go ahead and tell us a little bit about what happened. Yeah, man. My wife celebrated her 50th birthday. Doesn't look 50 at all. At Matter all. Matter of fact, we've all. been together nine years, and she has legit been 21 for nine years. This is the first birthday True. I was actually allowed to put her birthday numbers on the cake. She actually okay. posted about her birthday. She did a post like, I'm 50, you know, how did we meet, you know, type thing. Because it's a milestone for her. Uh, I start off with the whole week. First of all, I, I want to show love to her parents because you know her mom uh, passed early, so it was a super yeah. emotional birthday for my wife. You know, both okay. her parents died from heart disease, and she's very big in the American Heart Association, and yes, she's she very is. big on when it comes to heart health. Yes. So shout out to my in laws and God rest their souls. So um, the birthday day of the birthday, we had a big dinner. Uh, 20 of her uh, good friends, her line sisters, sorority sisters, and, and you know, people she grew up with um, at yeah. uh, Agava Azul. Shout out to Agava Azul. The only restaurant, Jay, hey, Jay's to tell you, uh, I called yeah. Jay. Yeah, I said, we talked about I it. I need to be able to get 20 or 30 people in a restaurant. Yes, and Ron. Jay's yeah. like, man, go to uh, Texas Day Brazil. <laughs> yeah, man, man, you better go somewhere. Yeah, with and it. my wife would, didn't, wouldn't want that. So Agava yeah. Zoo was the only place I didn't need to put a deposit down. I had to do nothing. It was just scary because you had you just had to show up. And oh. hopefully they had, because you could have waited an hour or yeah. you could have, you know what I mean? But we got yeah. there. My friend got there early, held the spot. We were able to get all 20 plus people up in there. So we had dinner, and then that weekend we did a beach weekend. We went to um, Anna Maria, Clearwater, St. Pete, uh, and, and and did a beach weekend. Is that the spot you guys have gone to before? You said oh, that's it's really her, nice down Anna there? Maria, her favorite beach, bro. Like okay. on, gotcha. hands down, she did, like we did that, you know, for the weekend, and it was great because when you're 50, you yeah. don't pay for drinks. <laughs> you don't pay for drinks, bro. So my yeah. wife, my wife would tell you, I'm I am a social butterfly. You know what Absolutely, I'm saying? Absolutely, man. I yeah. walk in the room. I'm Ken Miller. I'm a comedian. How y'all doing? Blah blah blah. Talking to everybody. Get and it she used to be that way, but she kind of stepped back. Mm-hmm. So when we got to the bar of our hotel, had a bar on the roof, and oh, the nice. whole, everybody lived in the area was coming up to this bar. So we walk in. It's only like one black person, and she with a white dude, and she uh-huh. see my wife. She's like, "Hey." And my wife had her AKA stuff on. Yeah. Shorty came over and, and was like, hey, how you doing? Blah, blah, blah. Hey, t- hey, real quick, though. That's how that works, people. If you don't know, uh, yeah. some of my white brothers and sisters out there, if we are a black person, we walk into a venue and there's only one other black person, we hey. are going to find each other. And we family. Yes, we are. We and cousins. We, we we are family. <laughs> we are, we will go to that black boy. Man, what, what took you so long to get long. here? Like, like we had just escaped. What took you so long hey, to get here? Hey, get here. <laughs> hey, I just met you, but boy, do I miss you. <laughs> Man, goodness gracious. Thank God. Um, so we, they spoke, and uh, she had a she was with a dude, a white dude, and um he we were talking about where you're from and this, and he he's from Winston-Salem, North Carolina, which oh, is outside wow. of Greensboro, North here Carolina. We go. And you here already we go. know, James. Yeah, you already know. So me yeah. and him having our back and forth. Why y'all here? This is my wife's 50th. He said, oh, come on. I got you. I'll buy y'all a drink. Man, let me tell you how I almost knocked my wife over. <laughs> Not for the drink. <laughs> James, you know, I'm terrified of heights. Yes. And it's on the roof. 
And this yes. dude, when he walked, he bumped me a little bit towards the edge. Bruh, let oh, me wow. tell you how I dove into the bar. <laughs> I dove into the bar. <laughs> I done knocked my wife over. I done, James, I done, <laughs> I done dove into the bar. I, Cause I don't do heights, bro. I just don't do heights. That's funny, cause you pop up like Isaac from the love boat, just bro, hey, bro. Bro. at the bar. <laughs> so we get to the bar, buddy bought us drinks. We sat down, they came over and talked to us. And you know me, I'm I'm selling it. I am a comedian. Yeah. My wife, a real estate agent, t-shirt yeah. company, blah blah blah. That dude yeah. bought two t-shirts. Wow! From us. at the bar. At the bar, we Ain't had good conversation. Yeah. So then we left there, end up going to um, out to eat later, and then you know, fifty and forty six, mm. we ready to go to okay. bed. <laughs> yes. <laughs> James, we you just telling, bro. You just telling me the story, and I'm already no, tired. Like, we went out to a little place to eat, hang out, and my wife was like, "I mean, we can go back to the room if you want to." <laughs> I was like, that's how it starts. I One of like, us will say that. Yeah, I was like, I was "All right." So we went to a little bar upstairs. They had a. We went to. A, we went to eat um, mm -hmm. at uh, ceviche, and then we went okay. to another nice. rooftop bar. Hung out there. My wife, oh, you know, she cold all the time. So we end up leaving, get back. Yeah. I'm talking about knocked out. Wake up, go to the beach. We beach hop. We went from Ooh. Anna Maria, St. Pete, Clearwater, beach hop all day. Went and now, got food. Go ahead. Now tell me about the little beach because I know you guys like to go and there. Now, she it, loves Anna Maria because it's, it's, they have a part, like a little secret part where she loves to go to. There's okay. like nobody there. You know what I mean? I like, like it's like okay. the, there's one part that's real super touristy, but mm -hmm. then towards the end, when you get up to I think uh, Holmes Beach, mm -hmm. and, and it's not that many people there. So she, I like that. And, okay. and the funny thing is, we park on the same road, and this guy parks on the road with us. He's like, "Boy, hey, boy, this that secret road. Yeah, you don't nobody know about this." And that, it's like that's this, this 10th Street and this 10th Street and Gulf. But and I've been parking here for 20 years. This is the best case because you can't find parking for free. You got to pay. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So we go to the beach. We beach hop. And once again, we beach hopping all day. We got plans to go to the club, go get some cigars. Uh -huh. We about to do it up. And that's man. what I said. Sit your ass down somewhere. We got back to the room. Sean was like, man, you want to go to Cheddar's and get something to eat and come back to the room? I was like, all right. Went yeah. to Cheddar's, got some food. We got to the room, ate the food. She's like, you know, we ain't got to go out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Like, Every I, time I said, I right. but but that's the thing, Jane. I kept telling her, This your weekend, whatever, whatever you want, you want to do. That's Don't right. ask me where I want to go, mm -mm. whatever you want to do. Yes, so Sunday rolled around. We went to, and I'm so sorry, I can't remember the name of the place, James. It was one of the best brunches I had, bro. It was so. I'm gonna send you a picture of the I, I cleaned the plate. I love brunch too. You know I me. cleaned the Sean took a picture of it. She's like, You so greedy. You so greedy. I say either I'm hungry or this <laughs> breakfast is really good. Uh -huh. I said, what so did you we eat had, though? What did you have? Uh, uh, I had a um a kitchen sink. Mm. Potatoes, eggs, mm -hmm. ham, bacon, sausage, oh. cheese. Did this the funny part? Well, you know you get a breakfast, they be like, You want wheat toast, raisin toast, white toast. Right? Those are usually yeah. the three toast choices, correct? Yeah. yeah. That lady said, you want wheat, white, raisin, bagel, English muffin, uh, croissant, pumpernickel. Uh, I got a Damn. baby. You want to spread butter on him? <laughs> I had Jay, I had to stop. I'm like, did you say a bagel? She says, yeah. You get a, I said, wait, wait, wait. Y'all, I've never went past toast. It's I've nope. never had ba somebody off a of bagel. English muffin, bagel. So I I took the bagel. I said I take a bagel. because oh. I'm just oh. like nobody's ever offered me a bagel at brunch. You know what I'm saying? That sounds so good, <laughs> bro. It was so good. So we got done with that. Walked the beach a little bit more. Then mm -hmm. went um stop sw swung by a little cigar spot. Cigar super expensive. Got back in the car and we were trying to find this secret beach up there. We couldn't find it. We drove around a little bit because Sean used to work in that area. She used to oh, work there and then commute back. Oh, I didn't here. realize that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Years ago, she worked up in that area. So we finally was like, man, let's go head to the house. We drive home. And this is how you knew, James, <laughs> it was a perfect weekend. There you go. It wasn't a bit of traffic on I 4. Bro, God bless you. It was, that is it God was, smiling bro, on you. It was it was my ice cube today is a good day. Oh, look I at that. Changed, I ain't even had to use my AK. AK. 
straight, smooth sailing all the way home. Get home. Blessed. This how even better. The rib guy open on the road who had a home. I say, man, what not he do? Not not the dude with the not not the drum, not the barrel. No, it's not a real dude. Not a real okay. dude that's on my road. Stop get some ribs and barbecue. Then this this how you know today was uh, a good day, bro. It's football just started, James. Oh, so I get to right. come home. I got football on. I got ribs. Then my wife was like, "Thanks for hanging with me all weekend, man. You really made my weekend." You should go to the improv tonight. What? I was like, what? She said, yeah, go out, man. Go Chris hosting. Go hang out with your friend tonight, man. I had a great weekend. I said, uh, man, today was a good a day, good man. day. You and I saw saying? your pick, man. You got to meet one of our, our childhood heroes. We grew yeah, up. Big Herm, man. man. Bro, man, cook Big the bacon. <laughs> I cooked the breakfast with no hog, bro. Like, what I'm saying is, James, <laughs> it was a good day, baby. 7 11. <laughs> it was a good day, James. I, I get to the improv. This is how uh, you know it was a good day, James. Go ahead. Chris down, Alexander mother. slaughtered, bro. Yes. Slaughtered. Good so for he, Chris. He, man. he had such a great set. The GM looked at me, was like, you're doing really good with him, and gave me a high five, man. Oh, nice, man. Yo, yo, man, the sign on the Goodyear blimp said <laughs> Ken Miller's a pimp. James, it was a good day, James. Bro, I, J- I ain't even finished, James. I go, go to ahead. the back to me, phase on. Now, he a little standoffish, because he don't yeah. know me. You he know, don't know he you. don't know me. Don't so know I'm talking to Jay Bliss, who the opener. Mm-hmm. Who's from Charlotte? He's from Jersey. He lives in Charlotte, so I call him yes. a comedy cousin. Yeah, I know. Me and him know kicking it. He killed. We outside smoking cigars. Um, um, Big Worm. He killed. I call him uh, Money Making Jam Boys from the Fear of yeah. a Black Hat movie. Yeah, that, that's yeah. my favorite movie. He said yeah. that's actually was his favorite movie to do. Gotcha. And uh, we go back to the back. Get take my picture with him, and I leave. James, I messed around. Got a triple double. double. That's how you know. <laughs> It was a good day, James. What, what I like is that improv got a basketball court now. Yeah, they got a basketball court. Chris called that. me. Fat boy called me. He says, hey, man, Faison friend wants you to come back. I said, what's up? He from Greensboro, North Carolina. I oh, said, God, what? That's it. that's it. I run back inside, man. I was like, what's up? Where you from? I'm from Greensboro. I said, where? I said, I'm from Hampton Hall on the south side. He said, Derek Miller, your brother? I said, yeah. He said, boy, I know your whole family. Stop it, kid. I know your whole family, bro. Look at that. Stop. Look at that, bro. He started naming people I, that he grew up with that I know, that I played yeah. high school ball with. We just knew everybody. So I text my brother. I said, hey, bro, do you know this cat? My brother said, so-and-so, light-skinned, short, little round dude. <laughs> I said, That's yeah. Funny. He said, man, tell that dude. I said, what's up? James. I ain't had to use my AK, bro. <laughs> it was a good okay, day, you man. You got this. It, hey, it was a good day. So shout out to my wife, man. Nice. Amazing birthday weekend, man. They took care of us up in the Tampa area, Clearwater, nice. St. Pete, Anna Maria. Got to hang out with Big Worm. Hey, feature was good. Smoked some good cigars, bro. Nice. Hey, man. Today was it was a good, a good day. day, bro. I love it, brother. I love it. <laughs> now, I once again, want to say happy birthday to you, Miss LaShawn Miller. Appreciate it. I actually reached out to her uh, via text, man, like the day after that. Appreciate I didn't it. want to bother you guys while y'all was hanging out. But yeah, bro, definitely got love for her, bro. You 170 know that. text messages. She was trying to reply to them all. I was like, you, you, man. Who? Who you know? You you ain't know. I, I'm, I'm, I'm Idris. I'm baby Idris. The girl don't nobody know you. <laughs> Y'all don't go nowhere. We'll be right back right here on Real Last Real Radio 104.1. You silly. Like everybody, you guys are still listening to Real Last on Real Radio 104.1. I'm your host today, Mr. James Yan. I'm joining virtual studio with a good friend of mine, Mr. Ken Miller in the building. We want to remind you guys to please hit us up on social media if you all Ready? haven't started following us we need you to go to facebook and follow us we need you to go to instagram and follow us and now you can go to youtube you can subscribe like and comment you can see these faces it'll go with these voices you guys hear all the time and thank you once again for people being at my show this past weekend and telling me that you listened to real last nice. we appreciate y'all more than you all know man thank y'all keep it up we love it uh at the show please come talk to us we can take pictures with you guys and spread that throughout the social media uh hemisphere if you will man so ken uh i gotta come back and talk about something that we talked about already (laughs) uh i don't know if you remember last week we talked about kanye he had his ass out 
uh, yeah, yeah. A, a, on vacation, just sitting there wilding. I thought he was just being, you know, ignorant and just wouldn't pull his pants up. But it turns out I was wrong. Uh, yeah, you I was. owe Kanye an apology because yeah, he was you not do. just uh, <laughs> having his booty out. Uh, it, it turns out Kanye, with his wife, uh, quote unquote wife, uh, on the Italian boat was uh, uh, participating mm -hmm. in some extra extra curricular activities. Yeah, and she for you was, guys uh, listen, that's three X's. Yeah, X. <laughs> <laughs> three X's. That's three X's. <laughs> she was, uh, you know, hooking my man up with Dome. We'll call it Dome, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, Dome. Uh, I didn't know that until the other day when I heard a story, the second story get released. So Kanye, uh, uh, brother's just on the water, beautiful, beautiful uh, place that he's in, Italy. You know, everybody's on the water, these yachts and everything. And he just decided, you know what, man, maybe me and my wife can do something. So why don't you just go ahead and, I know we don't do this. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do it, but go ahead and top that yeah. off right now. Yeah, Bruh. go ahead and keep the party going. <laughs> Dog. Bounce, bounce, bounce. <laughs> <laughs> hey, is it true that he got banned after that? He can't be on the water in that particular boat. Uh uh, uh what do you call it? Uh that company, I guess. The COVID, like, hey man, listen, you can't <laughs> Bruh. you had your ass out. Yeah. <laughs> on the boat. <laughs> How you get banned from the water? Bro, but it's it's not even at night. It's broad day. <laughs> it's broad daylight. Like, daylight. Like, yeah. that, that, but James, that's the arrogance of a okay. celebrity. Yes. That is the arrogance of a celebrity that I'm Kanye West and I want to get the fellatio right yeah. here, right now, and can't nobody do nothing about it. Bro, you are absolutely right. Because I know when they came up on him, they're like, hey, bro, you can't do that. And he going to get crazy. Like, hey, what, hey, you trying to tell me I can't have fellatio? Come on. <laughs> I can't Come get... on. What, really? It's because I'm black, right? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's because your, your black ass is out. Yeah. That's why. <laughs> Dude, it's so funny because I saw the picture. Yeah. And, and I'm going to be honest with you, man. Like, I felt bad for his lady. Cause he look he he he's got a surprise look, but she looks embarrassed. Like she looks super. Cause that's something like that's something you do behind that's closed personal. doors. Yeah, Person, that's a personal thing. Now, if you freaky deaky like that, and you gotta understand, you're Kanye West. It's a camera on you all the time, at, at all times. It's yeah. a camera on you. Uh, unless you're in your house and it's totally secluded and can't nobody see in there. If you <laughs> out in public, there is a camera on you, Bruh. Kanye West, at all times. Right now, somebody's profile picture is a selfie with Kanye's ass <laughs> in the back. <laughs> <laughs> they, no, just, they didn't even know, James. They got home like, what in the... Is that Kanye <laughs> butt? <laughs> what? <laughs> Did nobody see this on the selfie stick? Bro. Ain't nobody say, ain't nobody see him on the, uh, a Moffy Coast with his booty <laughs> out? Nobody. <laughs> ain't nobody see the Moffy Coast booty. Just me. No, okay. Nobody Nobody called the Coast Guard? Or... Nobody. <laughs> if, hey, it's overseas. Interpol? Like, yeah, nobody. nobody, bro. How you get banned from the ocean? You can't. You can't even go back. What? What's the? Oh, what's the? What's hey. that? What's over there? The Atlantic and Atlantic. Mediterranean. You hey, you can't even hit hey. the. You can't even go to the Mediterranean Sea no more, hey, bro. Bro, Kanye not even allowed to watch the Little Mermaid on Disney Plus. <laughs> <laughs> he can't even do nothing water Yo, related. James, he calling Disney. Like, hey man, my Little Mermaid ain't wait, make work. Hey dog. <laughs> hey man, they hey the booty, the booty police is like you can't watch nothing with fish in it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey Kanye can't go fishing. Shit. He can't do nothing involved water, bro. Kanye can't he can't shower. He can't no, take nothing. a bath. Nothing. <laughs> he hey, you can't. Stop. He want to go outside. Can't even go in the rain. It's rain. raining. Kanye got to stay in the house, James. <laughs> How you get been, banned from water, bro? Water, all water, bro. <laughs> hey, he been court ordered to wear two pair of drawers at once, <laughs> just in case. <laughs> Yo, this dude just dehydrated now. Can't <laughs> drink nothing but juice. Can't have no water. This want dude, juice, bro. Oh my Kanye goodness, man. But here's like, the thing, man. I, un you can be adventurous, but you, you make your woman look. Fashion. Yeah, like I you make your picture, woman she look. Looked, she looked. And she was embarrassed. And, and for me, I, 
I ain't saying she a gold digger, but she ain't mess with. Okay, but, uh, yeah, I'm just yeah. saying like, if if you were an average guy, and and your woman, y'all out on the boat, and you talk yeah. to into something like that, and somebody took a picture and it started floating across the internet. That's as a as the man, you should yeah. be like, I need to get all this taken down. Somebody yes. to like, you know what I'm saying? Because I know if, like I said, if you average person, yeah, you got some girl with you, you know what I'm saying, on the boat yeah. in, in Italy or wherever they was at. Yeah. And, and now her picture all over social media. Everywhere, man. Everybody looking at her different now, man. Bruh, her like, family gotta see that. Man, if nah. you're in the middle of the ocean and y'all secluded, you you Jeff Bezos with a big old boat, that's different. But bro, you in the middle of like the harbor, like just bro. in the dock and area. He, he on a tour boat. He wasn't even on no yacht. Bro, it was a three hour, hour tour. tour. <laughs> <laughs> this dude was on roll, roll, roll your boat, bro. Like he was what on the you... minnow. <laughs> bro, come on, Kanye. And you ever been on was right there. You ever been on the cruise? Yeah. You know the, the capsules, the boats that fall off if you if the, the boat sank. He was on one of them, bro. <laughs> he was on that wood that the lady on Titanic was on. You know what? You know they named a the move after him in the bedroom now. Bro. When she did, she going down on him. They call that the Titanic. The Titanic, <laughs> bro. <laughs> yeah, you got to do better. Like you do got better. to do better, not even for you, for your your wife. Wife, like that, man. Like man, my wife's biggest thing is about protecting her. That's one of Amen. my wife's biggest things. Yo, protect Amen. me. That's either with, with hands. That's either with, with with how she look in these streets. That's right. That that's like financially, she protect her. Like Kanye, you can't have your wife out here looking like yo. I don't gave my man this in in the middle of public and around because everybody. Now you make her seem like she for the streets. Yeah. Now you make her look like she crazy out here. I, I'm with your wife, man. We got to do better as men. Like yeah. I understand being adventurous, but man, that just makes you you and your woman look trashy. And he that wasn't what even want. like put the camera down. You no, know what I mean? Like just, he yeah. went, he was just looked over like I'm Kanye. Yep. And what they what did they Dave video say when he was on the phone? He's like I'm Kanye West, and I, I do. I'm, dope. <laughs> yep, I'm dope because I do dope things. Yeah, yeah like I'm like, that come on, wild. man. Like I, I feel bad for the lady, man. But it, I guess it, when you make money like that, sometimes women just deal with it. And not only do you make your woman look trashy, but this brother got kids, bro. We didn't even talk about that. The fact yeah. your kids see that, man. Yeah, that shows you. Like he don't care. Like he 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 does not care what people think about him, say about him. Okay. He has he has zero zero care. Like like real talk. What what has Kanye even put out or done in the last year? Nothing. You he know, what I'm saying? everything about Kanye has been controversy. Well, and That's here's it. The thing. Here's the crazy part about that, Ken. You are absolutely right when you say that he hasn't put anything or done anything new in the last year. But the crazy part is, our people, open arms. If he drops one single, oh, 100 percent, oh, bro. 100%. He come out with give me money, something like yep. that, bro. We right back. We right back yep. dancing. Oh, that's Kanye. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's how it works. You know he had his we... booty out on the boat, and and, and that's and, the name of the song. Uh, booty on the booty boat. On the booty boat. on the booty boat. Booty on the boat. <laughs> booty on the boat. <laughs> booty on the boat. Aye, <laughs> man, dog. All right, man. So I just want to bring that up. I didn't know it was. I didn't know it was to that extent. I didn't know it was, that was going on. I thought he was just being extra because that's just him. But yeah, man. So that ain't what I do. Uh, Kanye, you do you, brother. But I ain't do gonna you. have my woman out here looking like nah, that. Not at all. Not my wife. Nah, nah. Before before we go here, we got about four minutes left. I want to let you know, man. I actually did something I haven't done in over fifteen years, man. I went to Halloween Horror Nights at Universal Studios. Nice. Man. I've yeah. never been. Bro, it is amazing. Um, I'm one of those dudes I love movies, right? Even horror movies, I love all this stuff. And can they will re recreate a movie to a T? Have you ever seen Stranger Things? Yeah, yeah. Bro, they made the, I got the Stranger shirt on. Bro, oh Lucas. There you go. I didn't even notice yeah. that, man. They made the Stranger Thing, uh, Stranger Things, um, what do you call it? Uh Haunted House. Mm -hmm. You know the you know the haunted house where the little boy in the very first season was um went to the uh, upside down the world. Upside down the, world, yeah. You know, his house, all it's run down. Look like they made that house that you enter the haunted house. Wow. That like the the amount of detail they put into it. They made the scene where you're in the um uh, what do you call it? the trailer park with, where Eddie lived, mm -hmm. where you can look up in the trailer and you can see them with the bed um, sheets going yeah. to the other side. Bro, they made all that stuff. The amount of detail and money they spend on these houses was amazing. Now, 
it was tons of fun, man. We 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 had a we got we went we went to let me say eight out of ten houses, Ken. I don't think you know how hard that is. Eight out of ten, and wait times were like two hours. But Ooh, we got there yeah. at five thirty. We ain't leave till two o'clock in the morning. Jeez. We walked out of the last house and walked to our car. We were exhausted, but let me tell you something, man. It was well worth the pain. It's well worth the money we spent because we brought our good friend, Devin Seabone, man. who does not <clears throat> get the point when he goes to a haunted house. This brother will grab the back of my shirt like he is my cellmate in prison. Yes, <laughs> Did you get video, bro? No, I didn't oh, like that. I got. I was. I was brother. hoping for video, man. Because Devin, you know, if you guys listen six, to the six. show, have you ever seen Devin? Like Devin's six foot six. He's not a small dude. Devin is, at all. Devin built like Luka Doncic. Yes, he a big white yes. dude that used to hoop back in the day. College and, basketball, and college basketball player, and scared. Yeah, bro. His voice, I don't even know how he goes from the deep voice that he normally has, a baritone. He goes to soprano in 0 0.8 seconds, bro, when he something jumps out. <laughs> Dog, <laughs> I Grab wish, my man. shirt, hold it on to me. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> bro, I was wearing Devin like a backpack at one point. <laughs> <laughs> a jazz sport. Dude, so did how, did you, how do you get talk him into going? He loves it. He loves being scared like that, but he just will let out the most high pitch sound I've ever heard. And he loves being jump scared, man. My wife's the same way. She's terrified. Like we, we went and she, I, I give her credit. She, I'm proud of her because I thought she was going to really do bad, like pass out, but she made it through, man. And we had it, we ended up having a blast, man. So if I, if guys next year, I'm going to try to put together a real last outing where we all can meet up at Horror Nights and have a good time. I'm telling you, it's an absolute blast, man. Everybody's just there having a great time. They got um, street scares, what they call it, Ken. You walk down the street, it's nothing but fog when you're walking down the normal um, street, whatnot, for like, you know, getting mm -hmm. place to place inside the theme park. And they got chainsaws, they got axes, they got people sneaking up on you, bro. They go all out, man. So we had a great time, man. Shout out to Halloween Horror Nights, bro. Yeah, yeah. Won't do that. Yeah. <laughs> not the way my heart built. Dog, really, dog. kid? You won't man, do it? Man, and you know I got PTSD. I mess <laughs> around. I mess around, go full <laughs> Vietnam on somebody. Kid, you just pop out the water like Rambo with a knife yeah. in your mouth. Like, you be like, Ken, where you get them fake guts from? No, nah, that's Buddy. <laughs> <laughs> you, did you just kill Dwayne? Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> I told him to run around, around and yeah. find. Did you out. see him? Did you see him? I didn't, man. I looked for him all night. I was so proud of him, man. Yeah. Uh, we got a friend that works at Universal Studios Hard Nights. He's like one of the main people. I don't know if we allowed to tell people, Ken. Nah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, he put it out the video. He put oh, a he video did? out okay. of it. Yeah, yeah. He's the dude when you first walk in, Mister Whoever. Yeah. So yeah. All right, guys, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with more Real Laughs on Real Radio 104.1. Everybody, you are still tuned in to Real Laughs on Real Radio 104.1. I'm your host today, Mr. James John, comedian extraordinaire. I'm joined in virtual studio with my very good friend, Ken Miller. We want to thank you guys for all the years of listening to us, man. Seven long Seven years. Seven years, baby. And we enjoy it, man. We definitely want to keep this train going. So if you guys are interested in having some sponsored ads on Real Labs, let us know, man. Hit us up on Facebook. Hit us up on Instagram. And be sure to follow us while you're there. And don't forget to go to YouTube, people. Subscribe, like, and comment, and share all this hilarity that we are doing. Yeah, seven years, Cam. Wanted to thank you also, man, because you... Uh, came on later on, man, with the show. I'm getting so much feedback. I'm getting so many people saying they love what we do. So, brother, thank you. Fun, man. man. It's it's fun. I, 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 people ask me to explain, and I always tell them it's three comedians sitting at a bar having a drink talking. That's our Absolutely. show. That is Absolutely. legit our show. So, it's always so dope, too, man. Shout out to all our listeners, you people who at work, you know, got the radio playing while they cleaning up. People who driving Amen. right now, law enforcement. I get that a lot. Car, yes, you know uh -huh. that are just driving right now. That that I, I want to say kind of just fell on us by accident because you got to mm -hmm. think a lot of these cats are are listening to one hundred four point one all day. Like that's, that's just, the, that just that's how they do we're, it. We're ready, you know what I mean? Yes, and th they just happen to fall up on our show, and you know, after a few episodes, realizing you know we funny. They've yeah. stuck with us. So we we really do truly appreciate, you know, everybody that listens to the show. You know, like I said, from law enforcement officers who are in their car right now listening. Amen. Even at, at, at crazy shift 
even the people in prison that <laughs> yeah. listen to us, thank y'all too. <laughs> Shout out to y'all. We have not forgot about y'all and the letters that you send us. Thank you, man. And, you know, people cleaning up right now, sitting in the office, yeah. you know, and, and even our friends, family, comedians, man, dog, no, nah, thank y'all, man. We we really truly do appreciate it, dog. We Real do, talk. man. Yeah. And I was gonna tell you something, Ken, it's slipping my mind because that's what happens when you get old. But I was gonna say something about the show and, and something important. Uh oh, oh, oh. I was gonna, I don't know if we can announce it yet, but we'll just say please stay tuned, people, and, mm -hmm. and keep your ear close to the uh 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 to the speakers, if you will, because we got something that's happening that's pretty cool for us, man, yeah. on a local level, man. It's uh doing this show and what we do, and people are appreciating it, it's starting to pay off. So I think we can announce it next week, Ken. Yeah, next guys... week we'll let you guys know. Uh, if we don't get it to announce it on the show, we'll definitely put it on our social media. And we're excited. We're super excited for it. We actually had fun doing it. So we can't Amen. wait for you guys to, to check it out. Hopefully you guys love it too. It's going to be cool. Also, I got to tell you something. I know your wife hit a milestone, Ken. She turned 50, which is amazing. Happy birthday. But I was going to tell you, me and my wife are hitting a milestone in November. Where you at? Where you at? Uh, we are going to be together November 7th of this year. It'll be 30 years we have been Ooh, together in total. 30, 30 years. years. Oh, thank you. 30 years, my friend. We've been married for 22, but we've been together for 30 years in November. What's 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 the long what keeps that longevity Easy. for anybody that's listening Easy. right now like seriously what keeps that because i feel like there's no advice that you can really because you're going to give the man you got to communicate you got to do this nope. you got to do that no nope. i feel like nope. you, you you're you nope. the way you and you you and your wife are together yeah. that's what keeps you guys together now it may be <laughs> different for another couple it might be other couples who that keeps them together for 30 years is the fact that the husband work in London yeah. and she live in Miami. You know what I'm yep. saying? And that's how they, yep. you know, that's why I'm always, when people are like, what's your advice? I'm like, it, it's the, it's the same thing I see with you, Ken and, and, and LaShawn. And here's what it is. Basically my wife and I still date. Mm -hmm. And let me explain what I mean by that. I like to spend time with my wife. There is comedians that I know who've been married as long as me or longer who they talk about their significant other, and I hear the wife talk about him, like they don't like each other. Yes, I bro. like coming home and spending time with my wife. My wife's my actual friend. We still date one another. What I mean by that, we take time out each week. We have a dedicated time and day where we're going to date. I'm going to take you out, baby. We're going to talk about how your week's been, what's going on, uh, what's going on with the kids, what we need to do, and what's some of the things that um we got coming up. And like we just basically just talk to one another like, Friends do. Yeah. Like we like like us sitting at the bar hanging out as comedians, we do the same thing dating in each other. We are friends. We like to be around each other. Yeah. And that's the secret, liking one another. I never get tired of my wife, man. Ken, I know when I started when I was young and, and started my career early, she was there. She was there when nobody was. She was there pushing me. She was there telling me I could do it. She was telling me how funny I was when I was a comedian. I started being a comedian around the time she was pregnant with our third kid, which is a horrible time yeah. to not get paid <laughs> to go try something new. And she never faulted me. She never told me, don't do it. She said, baby, if you're serious about it, do it. And look where I am now because yeah. that woman decided to support me. So that's the secret I like being with my wife we hang like michelle's one of us like we go out and she really is and she's one of us she, like, really is. she can't handle no cigars though no but no she cigars. good <laughs> but i will tell people don't drink with michelle but don't, drink with, don't, don't drink, drink with her don't drink with her yeah, yeah, but, yeah. jay i i don't want to change the subject you just brought up something that i i don't think okay. i really know about you how did What's you up? get started and, oh, I don't it, think it, I know that story, bro. It, 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 I got to shout it out, man. I had a friend, a good friend of mine. I worked at Disney for a very long time. And at Disney, I got to know this guy named Jamie Ryan. He's a New Yorker, man. And he was always with me at lunchtime. And I cracked jokes. Like, we naturally funny as comedians. Yeah. We are. Like, we've always been funny. Like, in school and whatnot, every job we ever had, we were funny. So he's like, bro, James, I used to do stand-up in New York at, at this thing called Open Mics. And I think you should try it. I'm like, cool. What's an open mic? Then he explained that's where you go to learn your craft, your stage time, uh, you work on your timing, you write your jokes. So I said, man, I'm going to try it, but I want to be good at it, Jamie. You got any advice? So that dude was like, yes, here's what we're going to do. So that guy would come to my house probably three times a week for like three months, working on my five minutes. At the time, I thought five minutes was the longest time ever yeah. you could yeah. stand in front of yeah. people and talk. Like five minutes? 
And now if they tell us you only get five minutes, she's like, bro, I can't do it in five minutes. <laughs> I need 20. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, so he came over to my house and here's what made me good and gave me a great work ethic. He made me repeat from front to back that five minutes over and over again every night he came over. For three months straight, he made me practice it over and over again. And he would say, James, when you say this, move your hands like that. Mm -hmm. Make this kind of face. And I learned to act stuff out. Like, you guys don't know stand-up comedy. When you see the, like, let's say a, a comedian's doing a joke about hot sauce, and he pretends he has a little bottle. He don't just hold it. He, like, starts squeezing yeah, the yeah, little yeah. top off. Yeah, like, you know what I mean? Like, turning that. You're working on your body movements. You're working on your expressions. You're, wor you're working on when to be loud and when to... Uh, uh, talk low so they come in and they start listening more so he made me do that before I went to my first open mic for three months so when I went to that open mic I thought I'm just going to go up here one time I'm going to do this and have a great story to tell my grandkids that your grandpa once tried to do stand up but the worst thing ever happened to me Ken when I went to that first open mic and I got on that stage you were good I and got killed. it oh my god Bro, I took a hit of that mic, yeah. <laughs> and people were laughing at the words I was saying, and I could not stop, Ken. Every, ever since that day, I've been chasing that high. Like, if I'm home for a while, and I'm not doing comedy like two weeks because I got a little break, I am itching to go just tell a joke somewhere, to nice. do something, man, because I love this comedy thing, man. It's, it, it's helped me. It's been therapeutic for me. Like, I've found out a lot about myself as I write my truth and I feel like I'm dealing with pain in a certain mm -hmm. way. Some things that happened to me when I was younger, you know what I mean, with my dad and whatnot. And writing about it and talking about it and having people come up to me after the show and say, man, I'm so glad you said that because I've gone through the same thing. And hearing you go through it and how you did it, man, that's really helping me. Like, those things have really helped my mental health. So comedy, in every sense of the word, Ken, has saved my life. Nice. Dude, I mean, and I hated to take away from your, your anniversary coming up, but yeah. when you said that, bro, I honestly, yeah. of our 17 years of knowing each other, I never know, knew how you got started with stand-up. That's, That's my the origin. first time I ever heard that story, bro. Yeah, man. Jamie Ryan, man. Shout out to him. I think he still works at Disney. Like, I think he's been there for 25 years, man. But yeah, man, he got me into it. And and then I got I got to shout out another person that was very important in my life. And I think I've said this before, but when I got started in comedy, I was going to open mic. And Ken can tell you, open mics are great, but what you're working towards and what you're working for is to get on a paid show. Just to get paid anything, $20 to be on that first show, that I'm on a real show. I'm a real uh, professional stand-up comedian. That's what you're looking for. And there's a guy named Dean Napolitano. I'll never forget him. He had the owner of Bonkers, Joe Sanfilippo, come see me at his open mic so that I could start working. And ever since then, Dean's been a great mentor, great friend. Took me on the road, showed me the do's and yeah. don'ts of comedy, man. Just taught me how to be a gentleman yeah. when it become, when it has to do with being a comedian and how you address club owners, how you address bookers, how you address the the, the wage staff everywhere, man. So a lot of that Dude. I learned from him. And, and that's so dope. And, and I really, I, I tell a lot of these comics lately that you guys really missed out because mm. A lot of these guys get booked as the host in the feature without even being seen these days. That's right. Joe Sanfilippo right. came to that open mic. He sure did. In the back of that club. He did. And he watched your set. That's right. And you were yeah. not getting on that paid stage unless you did good and he passed you. Like that's and, right. And and I know that they don't live here anymore. And but that was that was your passage into getting become. And I know a lot of you guys don't talk. A lot of comics, whatever, don't. Do the people who come to Bonkers love Bonkers, but com, a lot of comics don't. But Bonkers was at the time the, they gave me my start. The, the top big chain yes. in Orlando. We had five yes. clubs, five That's nice true. clubs. You know what I'm talking about? Your we, spot, we were, Universal, yes. Daytona, um, Why Not Lounge. Downtown, uh, downtown, and uh, and Ocala. Ocala had a great wow. Room. Comedy and, is great for Ocala, man. Yeah, I'm sorry, it that's really my little is. Ocala is one of my favorite. Any, if Ocala, if you're listening right now, one of my man. hands down favorite comedy cities in Absolutely. the world is Ocala, man. But yeah, I, I miss those days of when the Booker would actually come see your set. Absolutely. And, and, you know, because now, because they don't live here, and also with other clubs, now it's more, you know, comedy is a lot of word of mouth. You get booked a lot now because of references and stuff like that. That's but right. But back then, the booker actually came to show to the show to see what you can do. And then he would put you where, like, okay, I think you can host. Or, yes. hey, like, for me, yes. it was like, I was going for host. He's like, I, you should, you're going to be featuring. 
And I was like, I don't even know what that is. <laughs> I ain't lying, James. I ain't know what that was. I was like, what's that? Yes, he's right. Like, I remember. He said, like, it's the, the second comic, the one go out the host. I said, I got to do how much time? He's like, 25 yeah. minutes. I said, man. <laughs> I got <laughs> Man, I got I had a good, I had a maybe good 15. That's maybe. funny. But that's how it works, though. I, I had to move up before I was ready. Like, I had gotten good at being a host at Universal, and Joe made me move up. And I didn't want to, because I love being a host. I'm me one too. of the few people, I think you and I are one of the few people who they actually love hosting. like being a host, man. It's a you challenge. Get, it's, it, it's, and it's a challenge fun. of getting that room yeah. ready to go. You know what I'm saying? I, I tell people, you the fluffer. That's you're right. Getting, you're getting ready. <laughs> I'm getting you ready, baby. I'm getting you ready, man. Hey, Ken, uh, before, I hate to go, but we got about a minute and a half left. I want to definitely give uh, you an opportunity to tell everybody where they can come support you this weekend as a stand-up comedian. Hey, well, first of all, um, this Friday, it's uh, Funny Funny Fridays at the uh, That's right. uh, Improv Sidebar. 45 yep. people last week. We are averaging 45 to 50 people. So right yeah, now yeah. we're doing very good. Ray Ray Reyes. Chris Ray will be your closer this Friday, and he will be on our show tomorrow night uh, talking about the show. Um, tomorrow, Thursday, I'm in Deland. Um, and then Friday and Saturday, I will be downtown Orlando at the corner. Um, it's going to be all up on my social media, so make sure you go check it out. And also check out the Real Last page. I'll make sure to throw it all up in our stories and stuff like that. So, yeah, come check me out, man. Nice. I'm not booked anywhere Saturday, but I'm actually going out to see Philly Plowden at the uh, Claremont Performing Arts Center. Philly is the guy that I got my TV show from when he moved to Atlanta, and he was kind enough to call me to come audition for it. So I feel like it's going to come full circle of me going to support him nice. this Saturday at the Claremont Performing Arts Center run by Mr. Ron Feingold, friend of the show. Philly Plowden, me coming to see you. Thank you guys, as always, man, for supporting us, for listening Fine to show, us. Fun show, bro. To our, yo, great show, Fine man. Show. I, I have I had a really good time, man. And once again, shout out to Miss LaShawn Miller uh, for her birthday. God bless you. Many more birthdays, Queen. Yep, yep. So thank you guys so much. Don't forget to go follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and now you can subscribe, like, and comment on YouTube. Uh, my name is Mr. James John. On behalf of Mr. Ken Miller, thank you all for listening. Now, Ken, tell them what they need to do. Take your ass to bed. We out.